guys, I'm bringing you in. I want to say hello. This is the second video for today, but you're going to get it on a different day. And I'm going to bring you in and show you what I'm going to prepare for my meals today. And so we're going to start off with my brunch because that is, um, that's what I'm making today is the first meal is kind of a breakfast, um, lunch kind of thing going on. Okay. And I'm getting the things out. Okay. I need. And things I need to get used up. So y'all watch that while I get this stuff out. And yeah, get it prepared for you guys, all right? So I'm trying to think through this stuff as well. I am going to, we're going to start getting this heated up and start getting this heated up. So I need both of these heated up. Okay. I am going to use. bacon grease because I have it and so that's what I'm going to use to do today's cooking. Right. We're going to get some of this into the skillet. I'm going to let that sit right there. That comes up a little bit. And then I am going to get paring knife out along with chopping block. bag of ham out of the freezer that is already cooked and ready to go. So I'm going to chop a little piece of this ham up. going to put this ham back in here. I'm going to get an onion out that I have from the last food bank haul that I went to. And I'm going to chop some of that up while I turn this skillet down just a little bit. peeled up. Well, y'all watch that. I probably should have done this before and done some prep, but I am still in kind of a a mode of just getting things done. So that's what it is what it is. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just bringing you guys along as I get things done. Okay. And I appreciate all of you guys' support on my channel. And 
not minding coming along. Okay. Let me turn this sideways. Get some onions chopped out here. As you know, I do keep um, onions and peppers chopped up in my freezer for days I don't want to chop, but I've already chopped the ham, so, and I have an onion in the refrigerator, so let me get some frozen peppers out. That's the only thing I don't have in the refrigerator that I want in this dish, so let me get some of these peppers out. I am working my way through all of this frozen produce that I have in my refrigerator and freezer. And so, we're going to pop some of these peppers in there. And then they have a little, like, um, sauce on it. It's all right. It'll be all right. Okay. Then, I don't like wasting it, so now we're going to add the ham and the onions. In there. Okay. So now we have peppers, ham, and onions in there. this tossed in. While I lose my mind looking for the salt. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna turn this down a little bit. I, got a little, I can smell it, it's too hot. I'm gonna turn this on, there's a salt. So now we have peppers, we have ham, we got onions. And don't do that, Susie, don't do that. Don't break that fine china you have. Okay, a little bit of that. We're gonna turn the heat back up on this. other things with it. Okay, the next thing I need to do with this is put the chia on that burner. I appreciate you guys coming along with me today. I'm going to put two tortillas because I'm going to scramble me up some eggs and have you guys figured out what we're going to be making so far yet. Yep, we're going to make some breakfast tacos. That's what we're going to make. It's going to be ham, bell pepper, onion, Okay, I'll have a little bit of 
tortillas that I bought with the last um, grocery order and I told you that if you are looking for a tortilla that acts like a real tortilla see it is they're called abuela flour tortillas ready to cook and this is my convenience tortillas that I go to when When I need to have a convenience tortilla, like I'm not, life has uh, thrown me a curveball and I need, I need convenience, okay? This is it. And this is my prep for the hurricane. That's what it was, it was the prep for the hurricane. So I wouldn't have to, like get out the flour and all the stuff to make the tortillas uh, in the hurricane aftermath. I just simply went and got myself already prepped tortillas. Okay. here so it doesn't burn. And then we're going to pull these eggs in. I have this gravy out because I'm going to pour my meal between lunch and supper today. I'm going to use up some beef that I had already cooked in the freezer, roast, and I'm going to make myself beef tips and gravy. That's what I'm going to do. With a side salad because I already have a salad made up. Some of my viewers really worried about my bread that I made the last time I made bread. I'm here to tell you the bread was fine. Um, it was not tough. There was nothing wrong with it. It actually came out pretty good. And yeah. So I know that I did it non uh, conventional, but it came out fine, people. It came out fine. All right, I'm gonna take these two tortillas. We're going to do this with them. I'm gonna flip this one more time. I 
off it goes. Don't let that mozzarella cheese melt up a little bit. Now everything is in the refrigerator. It needs to go into the refrigerator. And I am going to take half of this, which is one egg, some of the onions and peppers, and ham. Put it in that one. Look at that cheese pull going into these. Look at that. See that? Then I'm going to flip this over. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. two breakfast tacos that are absolutely stunning. It's going to be delicious, I have no doubt. I'm going to go to the shelf and get me some salsa to go on it. And that, my friends, is what's for breakfast this morning. Let me show it to you. Hold on a minute. Let me go get the salsa. We're back. And here is the salsa that I can back in December of 22, 2022, and I'm going to open it up. You hear that pop? That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to smell it. it. Smells good. Nothing molded on top, so it's ready to go. And on to, this is a thick salsa, by the way. It's not runny at all. And it's going to go on top of my tacos this morning. Okay. There we go. That, my friends, is what's for my brunch today. It is. My mouth is watering. I'm so hungry. All right. And this is going to go into my refrigerator. And I'll be using it in recipes until it gets used up. All right, everyone, I'm going to bring you guys in and show you what I'm going to be making for dinner tonight. And I'm going to be taking this roast that I had in the freezer already cooked. Okay, and we are going to... Give me a minute, let me get the things out that I need. I was wondering where this was, and I found it. All right, I'm gonna put this right here. This was a whole roast that I put in my slow cooker, and it was too much meat for myself. I'm going to set that right there for right now. And so I sliced it up because I didn't know if I was going to make sandwiches with it, what I was going to do with it, and so I just put it in slices, and I'm going to cube it up put it in this pan and repurpose some of this roast into beef tips and gravy.
I could have made tacos with this meat. There's a lot of things I could have done with this meat. But this is the way I cho I'm choosing to use it up. We've got the beef in there and now remember the onion that I started off with this morning let me get the onion out And I happen to like when I make beef tips with onions. I like big chunks. Okay. So. so this onion, the rest of this onion is going to go in here. ice crystals in it, but it'll be all right. It all comes out in the end. Now I'm going to get in here with doing this bacon grease. Everything tastes better when you have bacon in it. You all know that. Bacon flavor. Mm. We'll get some of that bacon grease in there. That should be enough. We'll see. Let's get this going. <clears throat> I want that bacon grease down in there to get it melting. Then that's working. That's magic. gravy. Take one cup of water. And these are things I needed to get used up anyway. I needed to use up some of the onion. I needed to use those bell peppers up. As you can see, this uh, beef I needed to use up. It was in the freezer. needed to be used up. And this um, brown gravy mix is one of those things that I needed to use up. So, Then I'm going 
to get this whisk and get this brown gravy and the powdered mix whisked up and ready to ready to go in there. This will be enough for two or three meals for me. how you guys doing okay I'm doing much better okay I'm getting there I'm doing much better I am starting to make um, my doctor's appointments that I need to get made and uh, yeah so so far the car has been working fine so far I haven't gone out and started it in two days though, so we'll see. And I used, um, I used instant mashed potatoes. to make a side for this. So this is gonna go on top of instant mashed potatoes. And I have a side salad. A salad that I'm going to, let me get it out and make sure it's all right. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So I got a salad. salad right here.
three. That's what I want. I want some of that bits to get browned on the bottom of the pan because that's just flavor. That's all that is. There's my salad. Then I have some ranch dressing that I made yesterday. I made it up yesterday and uh, didn't use it, so. Okay. In goes the gravy mix. gravy so I had to keep stirring it until it thickens up. Thickened up. I'm going to turn it off. Get this handle out of the way. This is my powdered mix ranch dressing. I'll put two little scoops in there. that I added lots of flavor in. I'll put about one third of them in here. I'm going to put a well in there. And then we're going to come in with this. I'll put one third of this in there. see that I have enough for two more plates. Oh. This will be my dinner tonight. I 
I want to thank each and every one of you to, for coming along with me today and uh, me getting a couple of videos filmed. One of them's going out tonight for you, and this one will be going out tomorrow. I'm going to leave some links for you to watch some of my um, playlists if you haven't already watched them. Please click on it and go back and watch my older videos. I also am going to leave a subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so because it helps me tremendously. Just you guys taking time out of your day and watching my videos is an incredible help for me right now. You guys be blessed because I know I'm blessed. You guys bless me each and every day.